Hey Mountain Kids, this is Rob Wood with a little more outdoor core with a focus on brush. Um, now, not a hairbrush or any other kind of brush for a person, but brush as far as a kind of plant. So we often call these lower level bushes, um, we call them chaparral. Um, which is probably maybe what I should call this is the chaparral focus on chaparral But uh, we also call these br brush and these huge fields just full of brush we call them brush fields But anyway, I wanted to share a few of them with you this guy right here It's called huckleberry oak Huckleberry oak and it does put out little small acorns hence the name huckleberry oak moving right next to it we got this one right here called golden chinkapin or bush chinkapin. If you turn over the leaf, it has a gold color on the back side, hence the name golden chinkapin. And you might know these because they put out these little spiky balls. And these are smashed, but these are from last year. Um, and they're really gnarly. If you're out on a hike, you might pick one off and throw it at a friend. Not in the eye, of course, but see if it'll stick to them like Velcro. There's actually one that's actually on the plant. So that's bush chinkapin, golden chinkapin. And moving right over here, we have um, a pretty cool plant called silk tassel. Silk tassel, and these are from last year actually, so they're not uh, very tasselly and soft like the new ones this year would be. But um, this is sort of why they call it silk tassel. A tassel is like this little uh, hanging down droopy f fluorescence or flower part. And uh, these look a little bit like manzanita leaves, but they are, uh, this is actually silk tassel. And if I go just a little bit more past the silk tassel, down here on the ground, we have greenleaf manzanita. Most of us know manzanita quite well because of the red bark and also the berries that you can find on some, although the berries um, right now are just flowers. You know, obviously all fruit is first a flower before it goes to seed. And right here you can see the green leaf manzanita in all of its glory with its uh, little bell shaped flowers. Uh, this plant, uh, the scientific name is Arctostaphylus which um, in Latin means bear grapes. Um, and that's because the bear love eating these manzanita berries. And then the common name manzanita is, I think some of you might know this, is uh, a Spanish word. Manzana means apple. And manzanita means little apple because the fruit on these look like little teeny apples. And uh, the last thing I was gonna share with you is over on the other side of the trail here. This is tobacco brush. This is a ceanothus plant. It's very common in brush fields. We have a bunch of them up here, deer brush, mountain white thorn, um, and this is one of them. And so tobacco brush, very cool. And right now they're kind of rolled up. Um, they sometimes do this, especially after the snow has melted. Um, and I'll let you use your imagination of why they call it tobacco brush. Um, I've heard a few things um, such as the flowers when they were dried um, the, the miners would smoke the the, uh, the flowers as a kind of tobacco uh, but I don't know that for sure. I sometimes think when the leaves are all rolled up like this they look like little I don't know rolled up cigars or something. Anyway but don't smoke it's not good for you. All right, kids, so chaparral, focus on chaparral. That's a Feather River phenomenon. Um, up around where we live, we have huge, huge hillsides and mountainsides that are all covered in chaparral or brush. And I just shared with you five different species. Can you remember what they are? You might need to watch the video again, but they're all around us. And when we go on hikes, they're always here. And I find that very few people actually know the different names. So see if you can remember our three different species. All right, take care, mountain kids. Get out there and bushwhack.